Good morning. Uh, my name is Assemblyman Andrew Rea from the 12th District, uh, Suffolk County, Long Island. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. Um, as we all know, last year, uh, last week, excuse me, in uh, Herkimer County, uh, a gunman uh, was held up in an abandoned building after killing four people. He had not made contact with the police for hours. Police had a robot to send in, but unfortunately, it could not navigate all, all the debris that were in the building. An FBI uh, service dog, police dog, named Ape, was sent in to locate uh, the murderer uh, with the police right on the tail of the dog, excuse the expression. Uh, the dog located the murderer and uh, was immediately shot. The dog gave its life to protect the police officers, and in doing so, the police officers knew exactly where that individual was and uh, returned fire and killing the, the person. Um, they tried to perform CPR on Ape, and unfortunately, they were unsuccessful. But it's important to note that this FBI dog, it was its first mission. The dog had just graduated police training just two weeks prior before making its ultimate sacrifice to protect the lives of others. Before we do anything today, I think it's important to remember that what we're doing here today jointly is furthering the safety of our communities and for the safety of those who put their lives, human or animal, on the line to protect all of us. I'd like to thank my colleagues from across the aisle and, and, and uh, in the other house, Assemblyman Joe Lentall, Chairman of the Codes Committee, Ken Zabrowski, and Senator George Maziars, who have similar legislation as well, and the Senator's been passing it in his house for a number of years, so we're hopefully going to combine all the legislation into one good bill and get it passed this year in both houses, um, working together in, in a bipartisan fashion. I'd also like to uh, thank Sergeant William Ricca of the Northport Village Police Department, who couldn't join us today because of the weather. Uh, he had brought uh, the discrepancy in the penalties between uh, service dogs, like seeing eye dogs uh, and hearing dogs, uh, to my attention, the fact that the penalty for killing those dogs was higher than for killing a police dog. And that's really why we're here today, is, is to raise those, those, that penalty to ensure that justice is done. I hope we, this is going to serve as a blueprint for the future, working together, both houses, both parties, and getting meaningful legislation passed. Previously, as I just mentioned, the current law uh, is not up to snuff. And uh, my legislation would raise it to a D felony. However, these, these gentlemen's legislation would raise it to an E felony. So, uh, no, the other way around. Mine's an E felony, and that would raise it to a D felony. So obviously, I think we should go for the, the strongest penalty possible. Uh, I'm gonna, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Albany police officers McGrath and, and Dyer. Uh, uh, Officer Dyer's dog is named Red and it was named after uh, uh, the late Francis Castle, Albany police officer. Federal government, many other states have enacted laws to enhance protections afforded to police animals and it's long past time that New York State does the same thing. Future incidents of attacking police animals should be met with dire consequences to those that would perpetrate such a heinous act.